Hello there guys, Kanem here, bringing you episode 5 of my Penumbra walkthrough, and we are about to save. Uh, so where I left off was um, from the sewer of hell, or of physics puzzles and stuff. And we are about to get into the, preferably the most scariest and most crucial part of the game. So we need to uh, open this and change the fuse to that one. So we can go on this thingy. Oh, okay, we need to uh, have a big chat with this woman. So I'll shut up for this part. Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel, Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello, can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting... strangely when I last saw him. Hmm, what else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Presence unaccounted for. Did... did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. D enough already. My sides are splitting. Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the shit. Okay, uh... Clarence has, hasn't got a lot of lady skills, obviously, so uh, he was interrupting her. So let's go through. I will warn you when a zombie is about to appear. Oh, come on. The uh, loading screens in this game for me are quite slow. So at the moment... Oh my god, seriously. So annoying this bit. Yet, oh, for Christ's sake! I find at a loss. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand here until this wears off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh no. So much storage in this mind of yours. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? Three thousand one hundred and three and a half films you've seen. You don't deserve to know. Clarence. That's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. Oh, come on. Stupid. Okay, there we go. It's worn off now. So we need to go to the com computer central area. Which for me is the most freakiest part of this place. So we just keep following here. And we go into here. So this guy is literally going insane now. So we have to go left. I remember why you're here. Okay. Hey, Dr. Swanson, I still me in. I recall every single syllable of our conversation. There was ever so slight an Yeah, in if you can guess, this guy's insane as well. Me. Why ever dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago? Uh, would she think that? I... We share the same history. 
You and I are history. I recall, I recall the day of my birth, 18th of September, 1964, 3.46993412, recurring minutes past nine. Well, this guy is a bit of a, has an obsession for knowledge. Into the world for the first time. Nice. A security registered form. Something I can provide. You need it at the library. Something beyond my reach. Obviously, because you've locked yourself in there, you dumbo. I split off from the others and secured myself here. I cannot leave. Nonetheless, you will need a hand. I will not. Bring me a saw. I recall seeing one on my first day here. Three years ago, climate change of 10 degrees over the past one million years. Walk east and take the first door on your right. So we need to go to the... Oh, for Christ's sake, he's talking again. But we need to go find a armory. And the saw should be in there. So now we need to go... So we need to go to the machine room. We just go in here. And there's a note there, so we pick up this brick and break it. And if I remember correctly, in one of these, there is some flares, or batteries rather. Only in one, so you don't have to look through all the others. Alright. Infirmary, canteen, storage machine room, infirmary. Okay, here we go, a map. So we need to go to number six. Because it doesn't actually tell you. Okay, the R109 is the armory, and number six is there. So we are we run that way, okay. We just continue on this way. We can move this so it doesn't get in our way. Now, 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 now. If you get the saw, a uh, a mindless zombie will appear out of nowhere. So we have to run that way for the machine room. So yeah, let me just get this um, saw. Pick up, pick up a flare, why not? Okay, let me just try and shut this door so this guy won't get in. Yeah, let's block it up with a couple of these for now. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, the saw is here. There's just something about a rusty saw that just makes me purr. Had a tetanus jab recently. So if you can uh, tell, there is a zombie near us. Oh the shit, there he is. Peekaboo. So I will run. Lo lo lo. He 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 he. I'm. Oh. Oh 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 oh. I'm. I may just charge out. Oh lo 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 lo. Mr. Mr. Butthead's chasing me now. Okay, this way. So we need to go in here. Nope, we don't. We need to go to the storage room. I forgot because I'm a dum do. Dum do. My dumb ass. Oh shit! There he is. He didn't see me because he's blind. So, okay. Shit. 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 Storage five. This way. Away we go. Oh fuck! Yeah. If you kind of guessed, a zombie does come out of here. So if you're smart, I would recommend blocking this door. Uh, just so it it takes a little longer for him to uh, escape, and a little longer for you to uh, uh, for you to escape as well. 
so you could run to the machine room and stuff and get what you need. So we need to go in here. There is a jumping puzzle, which is uh, always fun. And I think I'll leave it there for episode 5, and I'll see you in episode 6.